Hello, Dennis. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I am doing great. Uh, I was fascinated and horrified by this story. Okay. I did not <laughs> realize that it was a true story at first uh, when I first started. And then by the end of it, I'm very wrapped up. And now I have to read oh, the actual story it's based on. Uh, what was the process of adapting a true story like for you and turning it into the television show? Um, you know, you want to, obviously there's so much great, there's so much great factual information in here. It's a really, believe it or not story. You can't believe it happened, but it did. Um, so, uh, the, a lot of my work was done for me in terms of, then it becomes cherry picking the events, um, that you feel best dramatized what you're trying to say. And then it becomes, where do I make my choices for fiction? I have to, I have to fictionalize parts of the story. Mm. Um, and, uh, that's, you know, th those are decisions that there's no guidebook for and you just have to kind of feel it out. But the most important thing is, is what's the main story? How do I stay true to that story? How do I stay true to the characters? And then everything else kind of becomes easy. And, and the, the only heavy fictionalization in this was, was something that I think everybody in the world would understand, which is the second half of the investigation into Larry Hall, the one that happened outside the prison walls, right. to hopefully keep him inside. That was done by a variety of members of law enforcement. I was the one who said, I'm just going to take Miller and Macaulay, who I already have, and put them together. Right. That's like the number one rule of drama, right? Like condensing. <laughs> yeah. Condense, condense, condense. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, uh, Taryn not only stars in it, but also is an executive producer. Uh, mm -hmm. How hands-on was he on the project? And what's it like collaborating with him? when you're crafting Jimmy. We, we, what, he, he was, Jimmy was crafted by the time he, he came along. I mean, he was, he was crafted in the scripts. Then Taryn and I worked on taking him further, right. but um, G, here's what Taryn brought as a producer, what he brought as an actor. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. He was titanically committed to this project. He was all in all the time. And it wasn't just transforming his body. It was, it was a, a sense of, I have no vanity. I have no, I have no nothing. I, mm -hmm. I have no, um, there's no job is too big or too small. I am all in that trickles down to every single person, not just the actors, but every, the carpenters, you know, the lighting guys. And when they see the lead actor is that committed, it raises all boats. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got from Tarrant. It was an absolute joy to work with him. I love that. Paul as Larry is so perfectly creepy. At what point did you know that he was your guy? Uh, we, we, uh, Ta Taryn and I, and uh, the the other producers all had a conversation about Paul. Mm -hmm. Paul came up early. Mm -hmm. We'd all seen Richard Jewell. Uh, we'd all seen I, mm -hmm. So then I said, I got to know, I I've got to ask this guy to read for me, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so I had Paul come in, which is a big thing to ask of somebody who starred in a movie. Mm -hmm. um, but I just said, you know, I need to know that he can, he's got this. Mm -hmm. So, I had him read the, I think three of the most difficult Larry scenes. And he just chilled me to the bone. And I was like, job, job is yours. You know? Well, he kept on chilling right yeah, to the end. So. Chilling, <laughs> you know? Thank you so much. Oh, uh, you. This, the story is fantastic. And I cannot wait for everyone to see it and, you know, learn more about, about, well, Jimmy Keen, really. <laughs> yeah. Well, great. Thank, Thank you so much. You.